Right now, the market's pricing in a uh, 34% chance of a Fed rate hike by the end of this year. That's down from 42% a week ago. And 40% yesterday. Still backsliding. So, Thomas, do you think that we see a rate hike by the end of this year or between the UAW strikes, student debt loan repayments be resuming, uh, government shutdown, and everything else that's happening around the world, if it's in China or the stagflation that's going on between Europe and the UK, do you think that there's enough obstacles right now to for the Fed to naturally get what it wants, to get that slowdown in aggregate demand without having to, to, to raise rates once more? Yeah, definitely. Um, you mentioned the student debt repayments restarting. The 25 to 34 year age cohort is a big spender on restaurants, bars, um, entertainment, um, those kind of things. And I think you're really going to see when these repayments start, that's going to take away a lot of the discretionary income in that age group. And that's going to hit services pretty hard, in my opinion, harder than some people are forecasting. Um, We've already seen a lot of people try to get ahead of their student loans. A lot of people are making bulk payments, um, but still you're gonna have a lot of people that aren't in that position to do so. And you're also getting the lower income levels, their pan pandemic spending, all signs are pointing to their uh, savings being exhausted. So I think this could push some pressure on the economy. I think the Fed will be pretty happy to wait and see uh, for quite a while.